so let's start over with comparing the school in Hangzhou. What was it like there? Memorizing. So, um, like it was more tough, and as I said, like there was a right and wrong answer to many questions instead of asking your opinion. Like for reading, sometimes like you can have your own opinions. You should have your own opinions on some kind of contra controversial topics, but. Like, there's, like, sometimes, and the teacher just goes, like, here's the right answer, and just copy it down and compare what you've not done next time. Try to, like, they want everybody to be the same. If you were the boss of this school, would you make any changes, or is everything <clears throat> the way you want it? They're, they're focused on, some people are already really rich, so they're just focused on what they already have, and they're just satisfied with it, and they just play all day. They don't care about grades or anything, and they're not focused on what they want to achieve. So I think that should be more focused on. And what would you like adults to change? Like, I think adults always make think simple things really hard, like really complicated. Um, you know, I didn't hear anybody say anything about climate change or trashing the planet or oh, yeah, pollution. pollution. I believe not every country is that bad. China is one of the worst, yeah, but yeah. other way. Yeah, yeah let's do, this means video. Oh, I'm sorry. I think particular countries are doing well, maybe U.S., Canada, Singapore, I know of. And I think U.S. Taiwan. is number two polluter, China's exactly. number one polluter. Well, not China. I know China's one of the worst. Since I've been the worst. It's the worst. Yeah, but the, 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 the people are trying. They've been trying to fix it. China's probably the worst, actually. But I know there are countries that are trying to in, institute recycling policies. Well, like, if you guys had the same amount of people... works as wind energy. Oh. He makes parts for wind turbines. And he's been working with different people in, around the world, in America and in Europe and all around China and sometimes in Mongolia. And mm. they've been doing solar energy, wind energy, and not so much with water energy, but we have seen it before. And so I think that the world is still trying. And if you would watch right TV right now, there are a lot of shows that are like green and how to do this and how to do that. And there are lots of people that have commercials like Chevron. They have a lot of commercials where they uh, tell us about how they're trying to help the environment. And so I think we are kind of going down, but we are trying hard. So, so you're optimistic. How do the rest of you guys feel? Do you, well, I mean, do you feel the planets? Yeah. You have CNN, you have Eco Solutions every weekend. Now you have people building hydrogen fuel cell cars. People are doing something, <clears throat> but is it good enough? How would you answer that question? Right now, I don't. I don't think we know yet because all these. It takes time and money to build all these, but do we have the, enough time before all our resources run out? And money that's is that's what we don't know. Right, right now, I think uh, my answer is no. We still haven't reached um, a global contract for things such as CO2 and putting a ban on things such as uh, uh, carbon, uh, the type of gases that come out of spray paint cans and such. And then there's always that debate that this might be natural because it just might be another ice age. I think we're just making it go faster. You can see climate changes. This this year has been one of the coldest years ever in Shanghai. In um, what what was it? In Thailand, they woke up with frost on the ground, and you're talking about a tropical country. So, you can see these changes, and you you can try and avoid them, but they're coming. They're coming. So there've been a lot of apocalyptic movies recently, and 2010. The whole world basically, because of the shift, shifting of the tectonic plates, created natural disasters all over the world, which actually seems likely not 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 in 2012, but it, it might happen if we continue to have our environment decline. I hope it so happen in 2012. We have we already have wind solution all this, but it's whether many of the governments and people actually care to use all of them because the technology is there, but. That's right. right now the cost is high and not enough people are using them. And there's a lot of friction between countries now, so 
if the governments do not approve, then and if nobody cooperates, then you can't really do anything. Right now, the world is a little bit distracted. Like uh, recently, there's been a lot of news in Tunisia, where yeah. their leader has been, president has been, or he, he fled because of the riots. And I also think that people are too busy seeing movies that are like 2012, like. Ah, uh, this is happening, and we can't do anything to stop. It, so, what are we gonna do? Ooh, um, I think we need a more general outlook on it, and say you know, we can take little simple steps. And a lot of people, I think, don't actually realize that, and so they don't try. In our house, uh, we often remind each other to turn the lights off when we leave, and stuff like that. Well, the people don't. <coughs> tend to blame it on themselves, but they blame it on other people. So it's like, if you're walk, you just walk two blocks away and you're driving the car, and someone's going to tell you, don't drive, just walk there, it's better for the environment. And people aren't going to think, there's billion, millions of cars in the world, Just this is just one car, one little drive, how is it going to matter? So that's what everybody's going to think, and every, each little car that's driving right now, is probably the driver probably has that in mind. Right. <laughs> You have all these rock bands and all these news reports from the Western world. People might actually tune into them more than to the um, to other networks because they have already established what they are and who they are. So, what's the impact of that Western media on people's thinking, like in the East? The influence is greater because, like I said, people try to follow the Western world in their in the way that they are modern and civilized. So if these Western media and rock bands encourage, you know, eco-friendly solutions, then people might actually listen because they, because people are trying to follow them. And why do you think the West seems more civilized? Because like China's had advanced civilization for 6,000 years or something. Personally, I think it's a mindset that people have, as in, because the West, for example, they went to the moon first, they did all these things first. You know, every, the U.S. was where everybody wanted to go. Well, the thing so. is, um, U.S. was, America was first the combination of all the best people in the world, and they went together to the new world and run in America. And right now, why is America so advanced? Because their way of thinking is different from the rest of the world. So, like, China used to be ancient China, they used to be the best civilization, like they invented paper and gunpowder and um, compass. Uh, compass and something else, whatever. And uh, that's because people had to think, they thought for themselves, but right now, like something, you know how China is the world's factory? So it's very, very similar to how the education right now and how China is the world's factory. The U.S. goes like, here's the br blueprint, here's the idea, all you have to do is just, just make it. So there, it's it's just like China is the world's factory, and each little school and each little thought is factory. They're making the, like cookie cutters, the same thing, same thing. And people don't have to think; they don't think for themselves anymore. They don't have their own opinion and their own creations.